Hi gamers! After creating underrated metroidvania games, I decided to create part 2 of underrated metroidvania games. And if you haven't watched the part 1, I will include it in this description. Some of you maybe disagree with the ranking, but that's okay. At the end of the day, we just want to play a good game. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Castle in the Darkness is a metroidvania platformer game that pays homage to the retro gaming era. It successfully captures the essence of 8-bit and 16-bit classics, providing a fun and challenging experience for players. The combat mechanics offer a good balance of risk and reward. Close-range attacks deal more damage but come with a higher risk of being damaged, while long-range attacks are safer but require more time to reach enemies. The game encourages exploration by providing clear prompts for hidden areas that can be accessed after defeating sub-bosses or obtaining new items. This adds depth to the gameplay and rewards players for their curiosity. With a variety of weapons and items to discover, each with its own unique feel and abilities, the game offers a robust and enjoyable experience. Environmental Station Alpha is a Metroid-like pixel platformer that offers engrossing exploratory platforming gameplay set in an abandoned space station. Developed by RV Tikari and Rup Mekinen, the game challenges players to uncover the mysteries of the station by acquiring new power-ups and skills to progress through various rooms and target areas. The addition of mechanics like the hookshot and double jump adds depth to the gameplay experience. The game excels in providing precise and flawless movement controls, eliminating common issues like platform edge detection or glitchy movements. Overall is a pretty nice Metroid clone, good atmosphere and some interesting level design. It was fun. I recommend it if you need more Metroid clones in your life. Haiku the Robot is a standout Metroidvania game that embraces the classic formula with finesse. This game immerses players in the dystopian world of Arcadia, where they control the protagonist Haiku, a robot on a mission to uncover the source of corruption among its mechanical peers. The gameplay is a blend of exploration, combat, and acquiring new abilities to progress through interconnected areas. The combat system emphasizes timing, precision, and graceful movement. Parry incoming attacks, execute combos, and dance through the metallic ballet of battle. With the dash mechanic feels fluid and responsive, allowing Haiku to evade danger and reach hidden alcoves. Pronti is a fascinating Metroidvania game in which you play as Pronti, a genetically modified creature that combines aquatic and human traits. Together with your partner Bront the Javelin, a weaponized robot swordfish, you'll explore the deep sea, battle mutated sea creatures, and uncover the secrets of a new Atlantis. The game features a memory board system for unique buffs and upgrades reminiscent of Hollow Knight's charm system. This adds depth to combat and exploration and allows for strategic customization of abilities. Boss battles are also a real challenge, requiring skill and precision to defeat. Unepic is a game that pays homage to classic NES games, such as The Legend of Zelda and Metroid. It features unguided exploration, steep difficulty, and a mix of action-adventure and role-playing elements. The gameplay revolves around exploring a vast, dark castle filled with enemies and bosses to unlock new sections of the castle. Combat can be challenging due to unbalanced enemies, requiring players to carefully strategize their character builds. The freedom of character creation allows for different playstyles, but some may find it easier to survive as a mage than as a warrior. If you enjoy classic 8-bit adventures and RPGs, you may find satisfaction in exploring the sprawling castle and uncovering its secrets. Tuhu Luna Nights is a Metroidvania game set in the vast universe of the Tuhu Project series. Unlike most Tuhu games where the player usually plays as a Shrine Maiden, the player will take full control of Sakuya Isayoi, an elegant chief maid who serves under Vampire Sisters. The gameplay delivers a classic Metroidvania experience with tight controls, precise platforming, and a unique time-stopping mechanic. The ability to manipulate time enhances combat encounters and exploration, while the Grey system rewards players for skillful dodging. The boss battles, with their unique patterns and challenges, are memorable highlights of the game. Rabi Ribi combines the Metroidvania and bullet hell shoot em up genres, offering elements of exploration, battling, and platforming. 
the player controls Irina, a pet rabbit who unexpectedly transforms into a human girl. The game's focus lies more on exploration and combat rather than a deep narrative, creating a cheerful and positive atmosphere for players to enjoy. The combat is fun, with diverse abilities and enemy patterns that require strategic thinking and skillful dodging. The game's segmented map system guides players through different areas that are filled with hidden paths, collectibles, and upgrades which add to the overall depth of gameplay. Headlander is a Metroidvania game that features a unique gameplay mechanic where you play as a flying head that can attach to different bodies of NPCs to gain access to new areas, fight enemies, and solve puzzles. Players can explore sprawling maps, hunt for hidden power-ups, and invest energy into abilities that enhance gameplay. The game rewards exploration with incremental upgrades and a rewarding sense of discovery. The game's forgiving respawn system makes it easy to pick up where you left off, with the exception of multi-stage boss fights that require restarting from the beginning. Kingdom Shell is a Metroidvania platformer with an interesting story. It takes place in a fantasy world where a broken shell protects the kingdom from evil creatures and demons. You play as Elias, a half-blood with both demon blood and a criminal past. They become the last hope for saving the kingdom from this encroaching darkness. The combat in Kingdom Shell is fast-paced and it demands strategic thinking to overcome the formidable bosses. The gameplay seems to strike a balance between skillful execution and thoughtful decision-making, offering more than just platforming mechanics. Dandara is a metroidvania with a unique method of movement. The story revolves around a woman named Dandara who fights against evil antagonists. The game features a branching world structure akin to Metroid games with a Dark Souls-like leveling system based on collecting and using salt from defeated enemies. The one thing that really sets this game apart from its contemporaries is the way that you travel between places. Dandara's unique gameplay is commendable. It can also be frustrating at times. Navigating the shifting world and backtracking through complex maps may test players' patience. Aquaria is a game that invites you to explore a vast and stunning underwater world. The game features a side-scrolling perspective, a fluid controls, and a soothing soundtrack. Players take on the role of Nija, a character who can transform through song spells. Combat in Aquaria can be intense, with predators and projectiles posing a threat to Nija. The game's main appeal lies in its exploration and discovery as you encounter various creatures, secrets, and puzzles. Overall, if you want some classic experience and not afraid of how games challenged gamers in the past, give this title a try. Apotheon I consider this a hidden gem of the Metroidvania genre. A good story and decent combat, coupled with the most immersive and unique art style I have ever seen seen, makes this a must-buy for anyone who wants to put a toe into Greek mythology or Metroidvania games. The gameplay is fast and brutal, and it has been noted for its homage to the Metroidvania genre, with elements reminiscent of classic games like Castlevania and Metroid. However, the repetitive nature of combat can become a drawback over extended play sessions. Despite this, the encounters with different gods offer variety and highlight the player's insignificance in the face of divine power. The Vagrant, known as Sword of the Vagrant, clearly combines a 2D hack and slash adventure with Metroidvania style exploration. You will play as Vivian a sellsword on a mission to locate her missing father on the island of Mithrila. The game begins with Vivian's basic moveset, which can feel repetitive in the early stages. However, once you start unlocking extra combos and special moves via a skill tree and finding items in the overworld, combat gains some momentum and becomes more interesting to play. Despite a few minor flaws, such as an autosave system, which can be difficult to use, particularly when dealing with bosses, the game has a manageable level of difficulty. Valdis Story, Abyssal City, is an underrated title that excels in its genre, offering a compelling blend of action, exploration, and RPG elements. The story, which revolves around a war between angels and demons, offers a refreshing take on the traditional good versus evil narrative. The combat mechanics, whether you play as Wyatt or Reyna, are smooth and satisfying, with each character offering a unique playstyle. 
the game's combo system, skill cancellation, and magic mechanics add depth and variety to the gameplay, making combat fluid and engaging. With multiple difficulty levels, four playable characters, and a wealth of optional collectibles and encounters, Valda's story offers a substantial amount of content to explore. Vigil, The Longest Night is captivating Metroidvania adventure that blends elements from the Souls-like genre, offering players a journey filled with secrets, plague, and monstrous adversaries. The combat revolves around a stamina system, and players can wield a variety of weapons, such as swords, bows, and heavy weapons, each with its own playstyle. The skill trees provide constant and fun leveling up, allowing players to customize their character's abilities and improve their arsenal. With its rich lore, intriguing quests, and the ability to shape the story through major decisions, Vigil offers a memorable and replayable gaming experience. And that's it for today! What do you think about this list? If you know another underrated Metroidvania games that you think deserve a spot in this list, feel free to tell us in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like this channel and make sure subscribe if you don't want to miss another great list. And as always, thank you for watching, see you in the next video.